Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, extra piece at 70 cents. Quick checkup on, you guys know, that coin which we just talked about in our previous video. It's not no more at number 60 something guys. You guys know what that means, it dumped them further below. Now it's at 56 cents, a literal falling knife. The last time I think I bought a falling knife was XRP, when, when it was literally quote unquote dying from the SEC, right? I don't know guys. By the way, in the next video today, more coins are are not safe. Again, this is not this is not funny, guys. But we were trying to warn a lot of people. But I guess nobody listens because this is a financial advice, so I understand. Now, it seems as we we are we are at the calm before the storm because this is Bitcoin. Okay, so today we have a lot a lot of different topics to talk about, guys, especially with Japan as well. First things first, this is Bitcoin on the weekly chart. Weekly Bollinger Bands have reached its tightest levels in Bitcoin's entire history. What is the, what is this, guys? This is insanity, right? Bitcoin has never seen this in its existence, right? Bitcoin, this is this is this uh, indicator right here, the Bollinger Bands, guys. Bitcoin has never seen this level, right? Uh, for, uh to this uh, certain indicator. Each time it has gone to these certain levels, right, very low, we have seen an explosion of volatility occur. What does that mean? We are calm. We are at the calm before the storm, guys, right? The storm is literally upon us now. This doesn't tell us which way we're going to move up or down, pump or dump, but it does tell us it's coming, right? Let us prepare it, guys. I do, but, but I'm going to place my bets that we're going to pump up, not down. I, I believe we go higher, but let's talk about it. What's weird is bitch who comes out another week, another XRP pump, hopefully, because Mr. Pool, quote unquote green in month eight, right? So what, what is, is it, is month eight August, guys? I believe so, right? Or is it um October for their calendar? I don't know, I, guys, calendars are really confusing, right? I don't know which calendar they go by, but I hope we pump here soon, guys, right? It, it connects, I mean, this volatility incoming, right? Bitru and exchange stating XRP pump possibly green, hopefully. XRP dethroned Ethereum in the past to become the number two crypto, and XRP will do it again. But next time it'll do it for good, right? It'll be for good. Exactly. You guys want to know why Ripple themselves states it? Check this out, guys. This is crazy. Real world problem and breakthrough crypto solutions for a world without. And by the way, Ripple has not been non-stop tweeting, as you guys can see, tweeted today again. Ripple's mission is really about building breakthrough crypto solutions for a world without economic borders. We're working on a real-world problem to solve for moving value at the speed of information. So Ripple's business solutions are faster, more transparent, more cost-effective, and solving inefficiencies that have really long plagued and defined the status quo. And together with partners and, and the larger developer community, we identify use cases where crypto technology will inspire new business models. It'll create opportunity for more people. And with every solution, we're realizing a more sustainable global economy and planet leveraging carbon neutral blockchain technology. I would describe there the culture at Ripple as one being transparent, collaborative. You can lean over and have a quick conversation to share your ideas with any leader in the company and get their feedback and input to really help you succeed. You get to work with leading experts and rising stars in a variety of fields from blockchain and crypto to finance, government relations, and, and more. Well, right now, it's really about building applications on the blockchain and utilizing crypto, revolutionary technology, driving change across many industries. Employees can make on a learn and grow into a career where they can have a real impact in the world. I will leave the links down to so you guys can investigate further because we're not going to watch everything, guys. If we did, it's going to, it's going to be a very long video, but he did state they're over there trying to solve real world problems, guys, right? Again, utility matters. Chris Larson did say liquidity matters, guys, right? Who's going to be the long term uh, winner, guys? Let me know down below. I believe it's XRP. Anyone else wonder what Ripple employees think of the XRP community? Who knows? But let us transition, guys. And when we talk about we're heading towards a new world. We definitely are, guys, and we're not joking. Check this out. The United States national debt is up $1.8 trillion since the debt ceiling crisis, right? That just uh, recently took place. It took the United States 209 years to add the first $108 trillion in debt, right? You guys want to know why? It's the funniest thing. Let me explain this more clearly for you so you could possibly understand. Because 
This is this this full blown chart is shady, guys. Right? That that. Check this out. Back then, it took it took the United States 209 years to add the first 108 trillion dollars in debt. Remember, this chart can be a representation of blockchain or the new financial system, right? The reason being is because they always do everything slowly, right? Very slowly, very methodical, guys, right? So people, we the people are not in shock. Then they start, look at this, ramping it up a little bit, little bit, little bit, guys, a little, 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 until it goes faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster, 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 faster. to the point we just did it in eight weeks after a historic debt ceiling deal. $1.8 trillion in eight weeks, by the way. This is uns unsustainable. Exactly, right? It's literally game over for America, guys. How much... Guys, this is this is what's called a parabolic top. Do you not see what happens after a parabol uh, parabolic top? Go back to the 2018 Bitcoin chart and you'll see. It goes up and it goes all the way back down. Which means a collapse is imminent. Right, a collapse of America. America is the heart of everything, which tells you that everything else will literally die. Right, not people. I don't know about. Well, not not people, guys. I'm talking about the current financial system, right? Which will transition the world, we the people, into a new financial system. This has all been planned since the 1900s, if not, I mean, since centuries, guys. If not, if not longer. Let's be realistic now. Breaking news, Swiss National Bank posts $15 billion loss during second quarter, by the way. The Swiss Central Bank are, fleeing, uh, are, are feeling the rate hikes, right? So not only do, do they got printing, uh, go, like, <laughs> unimaginable, right? But the interest rates are high as well, guys, right? The storm is brewing. Don't people see what's really happening, guys, right? They're going to delay it as much as possible, though. That's the thing. Right now, if we check this out, it's truly beginning because Bank of Japan announces unscheduled unscheduled bond buying operations. Right, and in the comments, wow, the Bank of Japan is eventually going to eat the entire bond markets, guys. Right, hyperinflation in the United States of America. Now, look at this. So, what does it mean, guys? QE in Japan, quantitative easing in Japan. Right, print, print, print. Like never before. What did we say, guys? Even though there was some, um, some fear, right? Some panic uh, that that we created the video yesterday about Japan, but we didn't know the collapse wouldn't happen. I mean, like, the collapse could happen at any point in time, but we did say it's either going to be in 24, 25. That's just my belief, guys. Right? Don't follow me. That's just my belief because of the evidence I've seen. I think, but well, there's it's not evidence, guys. It's just literally speculation at the end of the day, but. We did say that if it's going to collapse in 24-25, they have to delay it. How? By printing and buying everything literally up. And look what they're just doing right now. QE in Japan. United States about to follow suit. QE, which tells us the markets are about to pump. Let it begin, guys. I don't care. Right? It's honestly, it's, it's, <laughs> it's literally unsustainable anyways. So you may as well print and make the people, the people who are, the retail people that are, that are investing into the markets rich and wealthy. Before they literally collapse it, but you you have to take profits profits before they collapse. And often, HOV vice guys, because if you hold the bag while they collapse the entire system, um, look what's happening to Curve. But imagine that a hundred times worse, right? Now with the now with the market this high, it has a plummet for the Fed to do that. I know I didn't say it will happen tomorrow, but it will happen because the United States is addicted, is addicted to free money, right? After the crash, so they believe a small crash will be upcoming first, then print. Uh, and and uh, to new heights, then collapse it. But I don't know if a small crash will happen first, guys. Right? I don't know. But uh, again, guys, Jerome Powell start start starting it all up again. Right? Honestly, it doesn't even matter at this point, guys. Right? I don't care to be honest. It doesn't even matter. Japan couldn't even last two days before intervening. Uh, intervening at. Uh, 0 0.6 right here. So this was the 10-year government bonds, guys. Right? Yesterday it was literally at five right now it's at six as you guys can see right here so yesterday it was at 0.5 now it's at 0.6 guys right again they had to step in <laughs> this is funny guys this is hilarious right wow absolutely crazy 
of course they have to step in. If they don't, everything will just collapse, guys. Don't you see, right? They're trying to kick the can down the road. That tells us something, that they don't want it to collapse right now because the world isn't ready. Huh, when do they want to collapse? I wonder when they want to collapse the entire system. Could it be in one year, two year, maybe five, maybe six? I don't know. Let's wait and see. Only time can tell. From Gold Telegraph, the 10-year Japanese government bond yield has hit its highest level in almost nine years, by the way. The Bank of Japan has the entire planet on the edge of its seats. And confused as well. People are confused of why this is all happening in the first place, right? Because they're going to transition us to the new system, which will be blockchain technology, which XRP will be integrated, I believe. So I believe it's not guaranteed. That happens when you play Monopoly with your financial system for decades. Or was it all planned from the beginning of time? Huh, XRP just got clarity plus Bank of Japan, right? Qu uh, coincidentally in trouble as well. On demand liquidity to the rescue. And this is all happening during July to August. The yen, July 22 to August 22 is the yen, guys. The transitional period, right? Now, Mr. Pool did post and tweeted out Japan. Well, a wave will turn into a tsunami, as you guys can see right here, right? An avalanche. Again, guys, J Japanese bonds are up another 6% this morning in Japan. This is going to get very expensive for the Japanese government and may well, this is going to get expensive for Japanese governments and may well result in a sale of United States treasuries in order to get more US, uh, United States dollars to pay for energy as well, right? But, 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 this is why they came out with the, um, unscheduled uh buying operations or whatnot because if they don't so they're going to literally uh, the markets will collapse guys but they could just delay it right they can't do anything this is funny they could literally only just delay it everything's about to implode guys i don't know about right now but soon possibly oh dear archie posted this as well from last year 722 a one-year delta so this big 802 possibly August 02, August 2nd, we'll have to wait and see Japanese bonds as you guys can see right here, right? Again, guys, black swan imminent. Let's prepare. It starts in Japan, right? I figured out yesterday that pool told us that the overnight crash will start in Japan, right? Could it be today? I don't know. Probably not, guys. But wait a minute. Certain assets are crashing, right? Even, even if it's a little bit. So it's interesting. Um... Let's go back here, right? Pool posts the suns on 723-2022. Japan is a land of the rising sun as well. Wow, right? He also posted a uh, a a hint towards a ball hitting a line of dominoes, right? A circle. Now, and, and Japan has that in, in in its flag as well, right? Which is the sun. Which will have a domino effect to every other currency. Japan takes them all down, as you guys can see right here. But the real question is, when is it coming? Right? When does it occur? I don't know, guys. But but it it has to occur at one point in time, right? Supposedly soon, maybe today. I don't know. But I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Soon. I believe it will be sooner rather than later, though. Not financial advice. Let us just see what happens. Let's be prepared for any type of scenario. Now, the fountain for today's scenario comes from Bob because he states, "My death is near." Right now, I believe it means like his personality or his Twitter persona, right, or his Twitter account in general, guys. So, yeah, let's be prepared for the finale. It seems as right. Not financial advice. Not financial advice. Not financial advice. And never financial advice, guys. Let's be prepared. What do we say? So, for you guys, amazing. See ya.